Today we are back at the boatyard to launch Little Wing. With her painted and the rig up, we only had the non-skid and anti fire left to do before we could launch her. We rolled the paint and sprayed the particles on, which worked really well, and the boat is looking really nice with the non-skid done and kind of really finishes the boat off. With all the painting and big projects finished, it's time to get her out of the boatyard and in the water. While the boat is getting blocked up by the slipway team for the launch, we get some last minute jobs done. With the boat lifted from its chocks, Cameron touched up the last areas with anti file and then it was time to get a move to the slipway. At the slipway, the boat gets slowly lowered down until it's in the water, but not quite afloat yet. And that's when it's time to check for any leaks. All good so far, Pete? Good. Have you checked all the other stuff? All good? Did you check all of them? Yeah. With no leaks and everything all good, the last thing to check was the outboard. We obviously had tested it already on the heart, but it's always a smart idea to make sure it is firing up, especially as we knew there wasn't too much wind forecast to be sailing and there was a good chance we were going to use it on the way down the harbour. With all the checks done and just a little weight left for the tide to come in more until she could float off the trailer, we got the sail cover off the mainsail and the headsail out, ready to hoist it once we were out of the slipway and on our way. Once she floated off the trailer, the slipper guys pulled it back with the mooring lines until she was far enough back by the little turning bay where they turned the boat around to make it easy to then motor straight out. Little Wing is pretty lightweight construction and doesn't even quite weigh a ton and a half, so that little outboard moves the boat super easy. Watching the boat coming out of the slipway and channel was such an awesome feeling. Not only of accomplishment after all the hard work to get her there, but also just the pure stoke of seeing her lines in the water. It was a pretty special moment.
As soon as the boys made the turn out of the slipway channel and down the river, it was time to drop Tara off to help them hoist all the sails to get her sailing, while I followed along in the dinghy to capture the moment.
We were pretty lucky to find a mooring for Little Wing right here in the bay where Kamara is anchored. It makes it easy having her right there to keep an eye on her and of course to finish off a few jobs on the inside. I know a lot of people that have watched our Little Wing videos have asked for a look inside the boat. So I've decided to add a little boat tour of the inside to this video to give you a quick look. Welcome aboard. There are two big berths in the main hull. One on the port side with some seating in front. A shelf and galley in the centre. And another berth on the starboard side. There's also a cool little hatch so you can keep an eye on the aquarium outside. In front of each berth is a little crawl through area. We are keeping stuff there for the moment, but you can get through right to the bow. Then there's some shelves in the centre around the daggerboard box for some extra storage space. And a little galley which has a one burner, a sink and some limited storage. There's also another crawl through area in front of the other berth. There's also access to the front section through a big hatch in the deck. In here there's a little toilet and it's under this little kind of shelf that really is a step to make it easier to move between the front and back through the inside. All the ropes, extra cells and anchor gear is kept in the bow. The space aft in the main hull is used for the water bladder. And that's about it. This will be the last video of Little Wing, even though there's still little jobs left to do before she can set sail on any big adventures. If you want to keep following Little Wing, make sure you look up our son's YouTube, where he will soon start posting videos. So make sure you're subscribed to his channel, so you won't miss the first video. In our next episode, we take you with us back up to Fiji. After working hard for six months in New Zealand, it's time to go cruising for six months and we start off our season by spending six weeks sailing in the remote Lao group. Make sure you like this video and that you're subscribed so you won't miss it. And thanks for watching.